Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel D Creations Resources. Today in the series Tell Me What we are going to talk about angles. An angle consists of two rays that intersect at a common end point. Let us consider one of these rays as an initial ray. If we need to rotate it counterclockwise in order to coincide with the terminal ray that is the other ray then we will say that this angle is positive. On the other hand if the initial ray is rotated clockwise in order to coincide the terminal ray then we say that this angle is negative. The common end point at which the two rays meet is called the vertex. Let us denote the vertex by the letter O and if OA is the initial ray and OB is the terminal ray and if we have to rotate OA counterclockwise so that then it goes and coincides with ray OB this angle will be denoted as AOB and since the rotation was counterclockwise this angle AOB is said to be a positive angle. Now an angle can be measured in either degrees or in radians. So a degree is the measure of the angle formed by 1 upon 360 of one complete revolution. If we rotate an initial ray in standard position through one complete revolution then we are actually getting an angle of 360 degree. Typically when we use trigonometric functions, we measure angles in radians. So a radian is the measure of the central angle subtended by an arc equal in length to the radius of the circle. So if S is the length of the arc subtended by a central angle theta in the circle of radius R, then theta will be given as S upon R and if S is equal to R then we would say that theta the angle is equal to 1 radian. Now if the circle has radius 1 and is centered at the origin then this is a special case and in this case it will be called a unit circle. So here angle of 1 radian will be subtended by an arc of length 1 unit because here since the, the angle is 1 radian the length of this arc and radius have to be equal. Now in this case what will be the circumference of the unit circle? Circumference is 2 pi into radius, radius is 1 unit so circumference will be 2 pi. Now if we consider one complete revolution then we would say that it is equal to 2 pi radians. So 360 degree which we earlier had said that is corresponding to one complete revolution is also corresponding to 2 pi. So 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi radians that means 1 degree will be equal to pi divided by 180 radians and if you want to convert now any degrees for example x degrees it will be pi upon 180 the factor into x radians. So for example if I want to convert 180 degree itself then it is what is it going to be pi upon 180 into 180 that means pi radians. So 180 degree is pi radians. Similarly if the angle is 90 degree then 90 into pi divided by 180 so pi upon 2 radians or we call it as pi by 2 radians. In fact those of you who know about functions this can be identified as a linear function f of x which is equal to pi by 180 into x radians. If you have understood it you will be able to convert any angle to radian. Can you convert 30 degree to radian? Correct it is pi upon 6 because it is 30 into pi upon 180. So the answer is pi upon 6. Similarly you will be able to convert an angle in radians to angle in degrees. 
how will you do it yes simply multiply it by 180 into pi so if the angle is pi upon 2 then if you multiply it by 180 by pi the answer is going to be just 90 degree so in a way we have verified what we had earlier found out so can you now convert the angle pi by 4 which is given in radians to degrees yes so it is going to be pi upon 4 into 180 upon pi so the answer is just going to be 180 divided by 4 which is 45 degree so this is the concept of angles this forms the basis of the topics such as trigonometric functions and of course lot of situations in geometry you need to come back to this concept of angles thank you